Hey legends, this is Madness. How you doing? In this video, I am reacting to the new, to the latest Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three trailer released from the Super Bowl. Well, it, and just to reference my last video with the Flash reaction, I did not really see the Super Bowl. All I know is that the it was the Chiefs versus the Eagles, and the Chiefs won apparently. So congrats to them. Um. um I personally am a Detroit Lions fan, even though I'm not that big in sports. But recently, at least last year, I think our team did better than it used to in recent in recent years. So, anyway, let's get right into the topic of this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, share this video. Hope you enjoy it. React to my madness. This. Thank you guys so much for 96 subscribers as of the recording of this video. Let's try and get to 100 by the end of February. I know we can do it. Let's get straight into this. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm Star-Lord. I formed the Guardians. Met a girl, fell in love. That girl died, but then she came back. Oh. Came back a total dick. Oh, please. You left out some important information, but that is the gist of it. <laughs> Pretty much. My evolutionary sacred mission is to create the perfect society. He didn't want to make things perfect. He just hated things the way they are. Ooh, nice upgrade for Nebula. That was awesome. And Groot looks great. To fight beside my friends. Incinerate them. Adam Warlock. Ooh. I love this group design. He looks great. It's like a cute giant. For one last ride. Oh man. We'll all fly away together. Into the forever. And beautiful sky. You were in love with? It sounds more like her. Her? Do not you. bring me into this. Don't even. <laughs> Knock it off! What? She never noticed how black your eyes were. They were replaced by my father as a method of torture. He he picked a pretty set. Boy. <laughs> oh, oh man, they got me right there. They got me right there. Oh, I literally was like, are they gonna be <laughs> something at the end of this? I don't know. Um I I'm excited for this. Um Oh, I know a few a few of the guys are likely gonna die. Okay, go who what Gamora I think will stay alive because you literally pulled her from a, from another timeline. Why would you why would you kill her off now? And you could possibly give her um her comic accurate look. Um Drax, I think, is up for up in the air. Drax can probably die. Rocket, I w Rocket, I can accept if he if he dies, I can accept that. Nebula, Nebula is more of a survivor, so I, so I think Nebula, Nebula will likely survive. Groot, Groot, he he, I think he's he's safe. I think Groot is safe. Um, Star Lord. Oh. Oh. With Chris Pratt ready to go to the DCU, I'm pretty sure Chris Pratt, I mean, Star Lord might die in this heat. So I think, if anything, Drax, Rocket, and Star Lord probably might be killed off in, in this movie. Oh. 
I want the high evolutionary to stay. I want the high evolutionary to stay alive. I want him to survive. Like, because I know he's, um, I now know what he looks like, like in the comics, especially from, uh, watching the original X-Men show. Oh, I see what he looks like. So I, one, I'm hoping if it shows up in here, it's a battle armor. If not, if hopefully maybe he survives and then he gets that comic accurate look. Um, so, ooh, let's let's see that again. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm Star Lord. So Star Lord. Peter got him a drunkard a little bit. Mantis, I think, should survive. Mantis should live. That girl died, but then she came back. Came back a total dick. Oh, please. You left out some important information, but that is the gist of it. So, I'm thinking this look right here is likely what he'll look like for the most of the movie. He, like, he advanced himself more and more, and he's more of a cyborg. Mission is to create the perfect society. This is a flashback. This is definitely a flashback. Because it says it's the only one piece and he still has hair. He didn't want to make rough. things perfect. He just hated things the way they are. <laughs> I want you all to know that I am grateful to fight this side. I'm hoping he survives, hoping he stays alive in this. My friends. Incinerate them. Adam Warlock. Oh, I'm excited to see him. He, uh, he's safe. He ain't gonna die. You don't bring such a powerful character into this. Like, oh, I hope he's a big card to be played later on. Oh, I think that was a let landing on Adam. We were always searching for a family. Cosmo! Each other. Hopefully we can hear that Russian voice. Or at least the mind speaking right. like in the Guardians of the Galaxy game. I'm excited to see this. Whoever it was that you were in love with, it sounds more like her. Her? That's Do not bring me into this. Don't even <laughs> know. Knock it off! What? You never noticed how black your eyes were. They were replaced by my father as a method of torture. He he picked a pretty set. <laughs> this movie will definitely have some comedy in it, as seen from the first trailer, trailer. but it, this one will likely, that's something I noticed with this and uh, Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania, these, these third installments have laws, and they, they hit hard, 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 I've noticed that, so, like with Ant-Man the Wasp, I've already stated in previous videos, I feel Scott will probably die. I feel like Scott will likely die or be stuck in the quantum realm for a long time. And then this one, a few a few guardians are gonna, die, are gonna die. Dang, like these third installments aren't pulling any punches. So, and um, hopefully on when this video releases, and man the Wasp Quantum Mania is out, and I'll be seeing that. I will be seeing that at likely when this video goes up this evening. I'll be see, seeing it opening weekend. So I'm so excited for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please comment, like, subscribe, share this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please react to my madness. Video question: Are you excited for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? And what has been your experience with the Guardians of the Galaxy? Because when they were first announced, I barely knew 
who they were. I barely knew anything. If anything, I know I at least saw them from Ur Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, but then the memory of them was like went out of my mind. So to me, like these were characters I didn't know anything about, and then I loved them. Like, especially Star Lord. He's my favorite. So well, let me know what what is your experience with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for 96 subscribers as of the recording of this video. 90 subscriber challenge coming up soon. And, and I think I do have an idea for 100. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.